This is the rear wheel of a Boogaboo Chameleon 1, so a very old model Chameleon. And uh, back in those days, they had air-filled tires. Uh, today we're going to show you how to shift out the inner tube or the tire uh, on this rear wheel. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to remove the cap from the nozzle of the inner tube and uh, press down on the little ventil there, the little uh, metal button that sticks up and just release any extra air that's inside there. So it's nice and soft and easy to work with. And then you're gonna need a pair of tools in order to pull the tire away from the rim. Uh, one thing that people tend to have around the house that's handy is a pair of spoons. You're gonna want ones though that are rounded, uh, that do not have sharp edges. Uh, they also have specific tools for uh, removing tires from rims. Um, you can use really anything though that is long and flat and uh, preferably metal, although plastic works as well, uh, as long as it's rounded. And the reason for that is that you don't want to wind up puncturing the inner tube at any point while you're using your tools. So take one of them, dip it down under the rim, uh, behind the rim and under the tire, and just pull it out like this. And take another one, pop it out like that, and just work your way around for a bit until you've gotten about a third to a half of the tire removed. And then you can just use your thumb to pull the rest away like this. Then you just want to press that nozzle through and pull out your inner tube. Now, if you're just replacing the inner tube, you do not have to watch uh, the removal of the tire itself. You can just leave it like this and then fast forward the video and watch the end where we put a new inner tube in. If you need to replace the tire as well, then you just need to pull it up off of the rim. As such, uh, the uh, Boogaboo Chameleon 1 uses a tire that is the size 12 and a half times 2 and a quarter. Uh, and uh, inner tubes should be roughly the same size as well, although provided it's uh, roughly there and uh, a little bit larger, uh, if it, that's the only one you can find, uh, then there are ways of making it work. Okay, now you can go ahead and just put your new tire on though, if you have one. You just pull in one side over the rim, leaving the other side off. You can use your spoons or your tools from behind in order to help pry that if it's necessary. Now you can see I left the front end off. Then you're just gonna take your new inner tube cap and begin to feed it in to this tire. You want to position of course the nozzle next to the hole in the rim that is made for the nozzle and as you press this inner tube in you don't want to twist it around. You want to be careful that it doesn't twist around and you're trying to push it in under that rim behind it and you can press your nozzle through uh, if you need to, you can use your cap for a moment, just screw on a little bit to hold it in place, while you now go back around, pushing that inner tube in. We don't want the inner tube to get pinched between the tire and the rim when we press the tire back in place. So just give it a little bit of a check, and then you can start pushing this tire back. Just use your thumbs, press it in one place, and again, work your way around. Then you're gonna to wanna to look to make sure that that inner tube is now inside the tire and not between the tire and the rim. If you start to pump it while it's between the tire and the rim, uh, it can pinch and uh, it can cause a puncture. Then you can begin pumping the wheel. The, uh, it's relatively important to do this with the wheel off of the stroller or at least uh, with the wheel not on the stroller and the stroller in an upright position. You don't want the wheel like this because uh, when the air is out of the tire, it will push the tire up and the uh, tire will not be properly symmetrical around the rim. So ideally you take it off and you do it off of the stroller. If you look at the tire itself, there is an inner ring here that will uh, that 
fits right behind the rim, perhaps a little bit over it, and you're going to use that as a guide to make sure that the, the tire is evenly dispersed around the rim and is not poking out more in one place than another. You can start pumping. And when you get to a point where it's a bit pumped, but there's still a possibility to press and pull, you're going to again check that ring. And you can just pull out where you need to or press in where you need to in order to properly position that ring. If you notice at any point that it's uh, beginning to pull a little bit too far out in one place than another, then you can just stop pumping and again push and pull in order to get that ring evenly distributed. In the end, you want to just pump up the wheel so that it is firm, but so that there is a little bit of give. Uh, just the slightest bit if you press hard with your thumb. Uh, you don't need to follow the maximum PSI indications on the tire. It's actually a bad idea to do so. That is the maximum amount of air that the wheel will take before exploding. And I find that generally about half the PSI there is right, uh, although that is um, different from wheel to wheel. So again, it should be good and firm, but with the slightest amount of give if I push hard with my thumb. In any case, that is how you replace the tire and or inner tube on the wheel of a Chameleon 1. We hope this video was useful to you, and if it was, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.